Let us explore how fractions are being used in real life. So we have a simple example here to illustrate. Write a fraction to describe each situation. Then write each fraction in lowest terms. First one is three days as a fraction of a week. As you know, in a week there are seven days. So we can write three days as a fraction of a week. For example, first let's write three days. When we say fraction, it is something which is numerator over denominator. So the numerator is three days and the denominator is a week, right? That is the denominator. Now, how many days are there in a week? There are seven days, correct? So we can write this as three days over seven days. So that becomes a fraction which represents days in weeks right now you can simplify days and days will cancel out and you get a fraction 3 over 7 so 3 over 7 represents 3 days as a fraction of a week do you see that so that is how we will do these questions now I like you to pause the video copy the questions and then solve them after you solve look into my solutions B is 15 minutes as fraction of an hour. So let's write 15 minutes on the top which is 15 minutes and an hour that means one hour right. Now how many minutes are there in an hour? There are 60 minutes. So we can write this as 15 minutes over 60 minutes correct. So that is the fraction which represents 15 minutes as fraction of an hour. Now we can always simplify it, right? You can divide both by 15, correct? Use your calculator and then divide. If you divide 15 by 15, you get 1. So you get 1 on the top. And 60 divided by 15 will be 4. So we can write 4. So 1 over 4 is 15 minutes as a fraction of an hour, correct? Next is 5 cents as a fraction of dollar. Now five cents and one dollar. One dollar has how many cents? Hundred cents, correct? So we can write this as five cents over hundred cents. Now you can divide both numerator and denominator by five. Five is a common factor between them and then you can write them in a simplified way which we also say lowest terms. So 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 100 divided by 5 is 20. Right? You know, you have 20 nickels in one dollar. So that fraction represents 5 cents as a fraction of dollar in lowest terms. Now let's look into this one. 36 centimeter as a fraction of 1 meter. So 36 centimeter and one meter that becomes a fraction part of the whole now you can write one meter as 100 centimeters so let's write that 36 centimeter divided by 100 centimeter this is a fraction which represents 36 centimeter as a fraction of one meter now let us find equivalent fraction in the lowest terms for that, we can divide both numerator and denominator and get the lowest term. You can divide them both by 4, correct? If you divide 36 by 4, what do you get? You get 9. And quarter of 100 is 25. If you divide 100 by 4, you get 25. 9 over 25 is representing this fraction in the lowest terms. So it is the most simplified form in which you can write this fraction. And last here is 13 weeks as a fraction of one year. So just write 13 weeks, right, over one year. Now do you know how many weeks are there in a year? Well, there are 52 weeks in a year. So we get 13 weeks on the top and one year has got 52 weeks, right? So that comes in the denominator. Now, what is the common factor between numerator and denominator? Can you guess? 
it is 13. 13 times 4 is 52 and so we get 1 fourth, 1 over 4 as a fraction in lowest terms which is equivalent to 13 weeks as a fraction of 1 year. Did you notice how we did all this? So when you are writing days into weeks you should know how many days are there in a week seven days put it there now at this stage you can cancel out days and days and you get three over seven minutes an hour 15 minutes is quarter of an hour that's what we get five cents as a fraction of dollar one twentieth right that's the value of your nickel 36 centimeters as a fraction of a meter 36 over 100 which could be reduced so how do you do that you need to divide it so if you don't know that it can go by 4 you can try steps first divide by 2 if you divide by 2 you get 50 and that goes 18 times and then again by 2 you get 25 and then 9 so you get 9 over 25 correct so that is how you can do it in steps also but the idea is to divide by common factors till you get a term which cannot be reduced further. At this stage, we call this as a lowest term or the most simplified fraction, correct? That is what you get. And last was 13 weeks as a fraction of one year. I hope now you will remember there are 52 weeks in a year, right? So 13 weeks over 52 weeks weeks and weeks cancel out you get 13 over 52 both divided by 13 gives you 1 over 4 so that is how we can answer this question go through this video once again and see how we wrote the fractions in first place that is this and then simplified them to write in as lowest terms thank you